His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudubia Palace today a number of senior officials, intellectuals, journalists and businessmen. His Royal Highness said he was confident that Bahrain would stay strong in the face of all challenges, thanks to the unity of its people, and its progress would continue under the leadership of His Majesty the King, so as to achieve the aspirations of the people. The Prime Minister said that all development and service contracts were ongoing in order to improve the facilities provided to the people. He said it was important to preserve the values of communication among the people and highlighted Bahrain's heritage and cultural diversity, which characterised the strength that supports social cohesion. His Royal Highness noted the important national role of journalism and media in honestly discussing the issues of the nation and enlightening public opinion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudabir Palace today the US Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck, and discussed with him ways of bolstering joint cooperation. The Prime Minister noted that strengthening international cooperation and collective action were key to maintaining regional and global security and peace, in parallel with supporting countries' development efforts. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain was keen to boost relations with the United States in all fields, by making use of joint agreements in the various sectors. He also stressed the importance of expanding commercial and economic cooperation based on the deep-rooted historic and friendly relations. For his part, the US Ambassador thanked His Royal Highness for his interest in consolidating Bahraini-American ties and affirmed his country's keen interest in enhancing cooperation with the Kingdom in the best interests of both nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, also received at Gudabir Palace today the outgoing Italian ambassador to Bahrain, Alberto Vecchi. His Royal Highness highlighted the continued growth in bilateral relations in all fields, based on mutual respect and understanding, and emphasised Italy's role in reinforcing global security and stability. He commended the efforts of the Italian ambassador during his diplomatic term in the Kingdom towards enhancing joint cooperation and wished him continued success in his future duties. The Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to consolidate constructive cooperation with Italy and achieve the best interests of both countries, praising the economic, commercial and investment cooperation between Bahrain and Italy. For his part, the Italian ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his constant support of enhanced bilateral relations and thanked him for his support during his term, which had facilitated his work. The outgoing ambassador also wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity.
representing His Majesty the King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa arrived in the Mauritanian capital this evening to head Bahrain's delegation to the 27th Arab League Summit meeting, which will begin tomorrow, Monday, in the Mauritanian capital, Nouakchott. He was welcomed at the airport by the Mauritanian Prime Minister, Yahya Welt Had Amin, and the Arab League Secretary General, Ahmed, Ahmed Abul Ghaith. The Deputy Prime Minister met with the Mauritanian President, Mohamed Welt Abdelaziz, in the VIP hall in Nouakchott Airport, and conveyed to him greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Majesty's thanks for inviting him to attend the summit. They also reviewed issues of common interest and matters relating to the Arab summit's agenda. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of Bahrain's male and female athletes in winning four medals, including one gold, two silver and a bronze at the IAAF World Under-20 Championships in Poland. His Highness stressed that this achievement was due to His Majesty the King's constant support of the sporting sector, which had benefited the development and prosperity of this vital sector. His Highness also congratulated the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain adding a new achievement to its sporting record. He also attributed this success to the government's projects and programmes for promoting youth development in sports, implemented by His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, noting his keenness to support all national teams participating in a variety of international sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that Bahraini athletes would receive all the support necessary for achieving better results in the 2017 World Championships and the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, arrived today in the Mauritanian capital of Nouakchott, which is hosting the 27th summit meeting of the Arab League Council. The Foreign Minister was received by the Secretary-General of Mauritania's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation and Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt and Permanent Representative to the Arab League, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. The preparatory meeting of the Arab League Summit was held today in Nouakchott with discussions on draft resolutions submitted to the summit regarding joint action and current issues in Arab countries, including the Palestinian issue the Arab-Israeli conflict, Iran's interference in the internal affairs of Arab states, the situation in Yemen, developments in the Syrian crisis, the fight against terrorism and developing the Arab League's work so it can achieve the aspirations of the Arab peoples and face the great challenges confronting the Arab world. During the meeting, France's special envoy for the Middle East, Peace Initiative, Pierre Vimont, reviewed recent efforts towards implementation of the French initiative for resolving the Palestinian issue. On the sidelines of the Foreign Minister's Preparatory Meeting, the third meeting of the Arab Ministerial Quartet Committee followed up developments regarding the crisis with Iran and ways of addressing Iran's interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries. The President of Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the opening ceremony of Sfax as the capital of Arab culture. The ceremony was attended by the Tunisian Culture and Heritage Conservation Minister Sonia Mubarak, along with Arab culture ministers and Arab cultural figures. Sheikh Amey expressed her pleasure at being in Safax and referred to Bahrain's ongoing preparations to host the Pearl Trail project with a view to celebrating Maharab 
capital of Islamic culture 2018.